Hey aviators, many of you have been following along on a private pilot journey with a student of mine, David. This is gonna be our fourth flight together and we're gonna be going up and putting together a lot of pieces for his landings. So learning how to land this Cessna 172 behind us, this is our flight school 172. And it's gonna be a pretty cool uh, experience to see a lot of those pieces come together. So come check it out, let's see how it goes. Okay, we're going on another flight with David and he is working on his private pilot license. I have a flight school here in Homer, Alaska where I am a flight instructor and I get to take people through their journey to becoming a pilot, which is a pretty cool experience. So he's just now to the point where we've gone through, we've, we've talked a lot about how to fly the plane, he's worked on those skills, and now we're gonna be bringing that back to the pattern and working the pattern a little bit more heavy. Um, so I think some of his landings should come together today, hopefully, and, uh, and hopefully you're there to see that happen. It should be really cool. We'll just see, you know, if, if he doesn't progress like he should, that's fine too. But let's uh, let's get in the airplane and get All after right. it. Brakes, set, prop. Clear! Homer Airport Information, India, time 2149er Zulu, wind 050 at 4. The weather is better than 5005, temperature 6, dew point minus 1. Altimeter 29er Niner 4. Favored runway 4, right hand traffic. Contact Homer Radio on 123.6 for traffic advisories. Advise on initial contact, you have India. Before getting started in the pattern, uh, let's do some air work. David is getting real close to nailing these steep turns. So you'll see that I don't talk a lot and I only offer advice when necessary. You'll notice the attitude of the nose, which is probably the best view during this maneuver, and how it slices across the horizon. That's what you really need to look for when you're flying this. So that's the most important. So be looking for that. All right, left first look. Okay, get your hand on the power. Roll, Turn. pull, a little bit of extra power. Okay, make sure you fight that left. There you go. Woo, a little bit more nose up. Right there. Now drag the nose across the horizon just as it looks now. It is dragging it. Okay. Now you're thinking about poop peak a little bit. And there she is. It's starting to level out. Okay. And bam. That looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Uh -huh. Just tighten up. Woohoo! All right, and then right turn. Yep, it'll be a poop. little. Yep. All right, poop peak. Look, lean, turn, pull, power. More turn. Yeah, more more bank. pull. A little more bank. A little, a little more bank. bank. Looking good though. Drag it through the horizon. Eating up a little bit. Gosh, what a beautiful day. Yeah. Mercy. And poop peak rolling out. Nice rudder work. Nose down. Rudder and down. Oh, there's a little wake there. I think we're a little high on it though. Yeah. See how you bubbled up? Yeah. Like 50 feet or something. Try another one. You're doing good with them. You're okay. kind of in the zone. All right. And Make sure you're nice and level first, good power. Okay, that all like, looks good. All right, and left turn, looking, leaning, ruddering, turning, powering, pulling. You didn't pull soon enough. I so. did not. Now we're dipping out. Okay, you still got it, get it back. Got to get your nose higher on that horizon. There you go, now drag it across. We kind of lost altitude throughout that entire maneuver there. Because okay. you didn't get that, you didn't pull hard enough at the beginning, that's why. Okay. Let's try it to the left again, that seems to be the one you struggle with a little bit more. Okay. And looking. Leaning. Ruddering. Setting. Pulling. Powering. Okay, a little more pull. A little more pull. 
There you go, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little less bank. Tower three, right four, there, you. keep that, drag it across. Okay, and boot peak, right about there. The one thing I'm noticing is, you know how we talked about the overbanking tendency? Yeah. You correct for it when we go to the right, but you aren't collect correcting for it very well when we go to the left. So like, it keeps getting steeper and steeper, and when yeah. you get steeper, you have to pull back even more. So, that's one of the things that's happening. Okay. I mean, they're pretty good, but, you know, let's try to do it one more time. Okay, and left turn. Okay. And looking, leaning, ruddering, nose up, more bank. Okay, so lock the bank and pull. Start the pull. Too steep. Don't go beyond that dot. Not looking at the dot. Trying to get a feel for it. And that feels and keeping good right your there. Eyes outside, eyes outside, eyes outside, eyes outside. We lost a couple more hundred feet on that one. Woohoo! Gosh, it's gorgeous today. Yeah. Don't get so deep in your training that you forget to enjoy the flying experience. Take a break every now and again and go see something cool or beautiful or interesting. It only takes a few minutes usually, uh, but reminds us why we fly in the first place. And in this case, we go and check out this mountain that we are just aiming for during our steep turns. So cool. And it is a beautiful time. My okay. friend was out here this summer and I came and flew by him. I could poop peak. What is one of the finer details you have struggled with in your flight training? I'd love to give you some feedback, so go ahead and comment below. Arriving at an airport could be an entire lesson, uh, but pay close attention to the steps that we take here, like getting the weather, planning and starting the descent, making radio calls for the local traffic, paying close attention to other traffic and other radio calls, and the arrival checklist. This makes for a very busy arrival, obviously, which if you don't do it efficiently, it can lead to a rushed approach, which you'll also see play out here a little bit. One, three, five, six, five? One, yep. Six, five? Yep. Okay. Good job, not going the long way around there. Zulu, wind zero five zero at four. The weather is better than 5,005, temperature six, two point minus one. Altimeter two niner niner four. Favored runway four, right hand traffic. Advise on initial contact, you have India. Okay, so, and you can start to work your way down now because we are pretty high. So, have India. Yep, little power back, power Over attitude trim. India, time 2149er Zulu. And you can tell them that we're at Goal Island. So, Homer Radio 2423 uniform, Goal Island, information India. Landing runway four. Or radio 2423 uniform at Goal Island with information India coming into runway four. And let's get 500 feet per minute out of this. Uniform, radio, Roger. Have uh, one aircraft warming up for runway four departure. No additional known traffic. Okay. All right, descent checklist. Mixture rich in, we're good there. Fuel on both, it still is. Carpeat, ATIS, AWOS, altimeter set, instruments heading to compass. Okay. I'm kind of like looking right now at places I would land. Yeah, if you had to? Yeah. You could, think you could land this on a beach? Oh yeah. That's one of the best options. Really? Just out of the way of people and yeah. Okay, so we're getting close to our pattern altitude. That's pretty good. Um, you want to give a stab at the first landing, or you want me to do this one? Uh, how about I do this one? And okay. Then you can refine it. Sounds good. Let's that. do our sea gumps now that we're close. Okay, so sea gumps is carpet. Yep. Okay. Uh, on. Okay, carpet is on. Uh, G is gasoline. Or yes. yep, gas. Gas is on both. On U is under carriage. Yep. Set. Don't need to worry about it. M is pull that power back and come out here a little bit. M is uh, 
something. Was that you? No. Oh, uh, yeah. That was you. Yeah. Okay, try not to boot it that abrupt. Okay. Be really nice right. engine. M is what? Okay. M is mixture. Mixture. Mixture prop seatbelt switches. Okay, let's get this slowed down a little bit. Okay. And first notch of flaps. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Okay, first notch of flaps. Home traffic, 242304, and we're on a right base, runway 4. We've got the traffic departing. Uh, plenty of space. All right, your controls. Okay. I've got back pressure. Just trying to slow down, like, the sea gums was taking too long and kind of needed to get in there. Okay. Okay, and looks like he's departing. You see him? Departing, yep. And he's Check on your his final. On his roll. He's on his second notch take of off. Flaps. Okay, second notch of flaps. A little less power. Okay, and. Good. Home radio 2423 uniform, turning right, final. Yeah, just final. Hey, what? You, yep, you're good. You're kind of falling into it here. Hey, glance at your speed. Don't go below 70. Okay, we're at 70. Okay. Get right on center line. You flew past a little bit. Relax. Last notch of flaps. Get over on center line. Number traffic, second base zero exercise, first base in, two mile right base zero four, number two, four more. Hey, don't quite pull that power back yet, let it settle in. All right, now pull the power back, here's your round out, keep that pressure back, now transition the flare. Woohoo! that happened fast. All right. All right, let's clean it up, let's, let's stop. After showing David a landing, we came around for another go with him at the controls. In learning energy management, we end up too high, too fast, and too close. And this qualifies as what is called an unstable approach. Homer traffic, two to the uniform, turning right base, runway four. Power. More. Listen for it, listen for it. More, 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 more. Right there. That's where you want to shoot for initially. I like the wind's picking up. Yeah. Okay, next notch. And have your hand on that power because I feel like we're really high. So power back, power back. So this is the judgment call right here. If we're high or, but don't put the nose down too much. We don't want to speed up. It's better to be slow. Checking that final. Okay, fine. looks clear. And Homer, two for, Homer traffic, 2423 uniform, turning right, final. Just say final, you don't need to say right or left, final. Okay. Hey, so right now, something that's happening is um, people tend to dive and like force it. But I want, I want you to see what happens if you just put the nose up for a second. Okay. Pull the nose up and we'll let it get slow right here. Watch what happens with the vector. Yep. Now we're slow and we can approach. We don't have to dive in to do the same thing. Okay. We are going to do a go around here, by the way. Okay. Um, just because we're too too long. So this would be kind of like an unstable approach, meaning we didn't quite get things right and we need to do a go around. And that's totally fine. There's definitely lessons to learn there as well. So remember, go around is power up, pitch up, clean up. So power up everything. Pitch up to our climb attitude and clean up one notch of flaps. Okay. Okay, and gonna power up here. Okay, go ahead. Power up. Pitch up. And you're gonna have to hold it there. Good. Clean up one notch. This is part of your power as well. Good. That was a beautiful go around. And cleaning all the way up. There you go. There is this saying that you should give as much as much priority to a go around as you do a successful landing, which I think is an interesting thought. I'm not sure it's entirely accurate, but just that that option is there and like you don't have to force yourself to land. Okay. I like that attitude. Yeah. Hey y'all, a real quick message here. 
If you're enjoying this video and doing flight training now or in the near future, check out our online ground school. Pass the written test, prepare for flight training, and become a safe aviator. And you get to support this channel at the same time. Join today at angleofattack.com. All right, back to the video. I'm all for letting the student do all the work all the time, and I think it's important for instructors to let students make mistakes and go through those things, but not when it becomes an actual hurdle. And in the beginning hours, the student's mind can much better wrap around the whole fast-paced pattern if they can just sit there and observe, especially after they know a few things and they've, they've done many patterns, to just be able to watch the instructor go through the pattern smoothly and see all those interconnecting pieces and how it fits together. Just a few patterns done by the instructor can pay huge dividends. And so that's what I do with David. I take over at a point where he can see this critical phase that we can get better on. Homer traffic, 242 uniform, right downwind, runway four, Homer. And I'm probably a little slow on my power. And now I have my entire downwind to do my sea gums. You're welcome to do sea gums and think through that if you want. Okay, carb heat's on, gas is set, undercarriage is set, mixture is set, got it that time. Prop is solid state and seat belt switches. There you go, Romeo. The beam barge base, our base 04, Homer. Home traffic, 234, we're just cross, uh, a beam, the number is 22, you guys should be ahead of us. Three. You did seatbelt switches? Yep. Okay. He's right in the sun. So he must be high. No, he's right at our altitude, I bet. Oh, right there. Cool, perfect. Alright. Altitude's doing well, speed's doing well. That's just the stuff we check for. You see how my nose is lower than yours was? Yeah. By a couple inches, so this is about what it should look like. Again, setting that attitude. I am glancing at my runway now and again to make sure I'm in a good position. That all looks pretty good. Nice and parallel. I'm keeping my distance. If I wasn't and there's was wind up here, then I could counteract for that right. Okay, final two, Turn into the wind. Just nice and steady. Everything's steady. Homer traffic, two, three, and four, right base, runway four, Homer. So this turn and this power pull is super critical. Pulling that power back until you hear it. Right about there. And I'm still turning, I'm nice and coordinated. But I do have a little pressure here because I want to slow down as well in this, yeah, for this leg. So now I'm set up here, and a little bit slower, I can enter my second notch of flaps and have more power authority if I need to. So, the approach that I teach, some people teach a three-step. You kind of pull the power, beam the number sort of thing. Homer Airport information. But this is more of a power off, like I'm power off right now. Final's clear. Homer traffic, two, three, and four, and final runway four, Homer. That, this notch of flap, the third, will help you slow down more if you need it. See how nice this looks? Yep. Just feels right. So I'm gonna roll in a little bit of power because it feels like I'm sinking just a little bit. I'm gonna keep it right here. There really won't be a lot of adjustments. It's so smooth today. And I can just ride this almost all the way down. And about here, pull my power back. Look all the way down the runway, all the way down that center line as I'm pulling and bleeding off that extra little energy. Very nice. Okay. After all the work of the lesson for the day, let's see how it comes together for David in his last landing. So we get the benefit of kind of fast forwarding things a bit here and you seeing how far he came in just these you know few minutes that he was uh, that he was in the airplane. So all these pieces come together and let's see how it resulted in this landing. Homer traffic, two three uniform, turning right base, runway four, Homer. Power first. Power first. 
and then do your flaps on the straightaway rather than in the turn. This is good. A little bit more back pressure on here. That, that feels really nice. That all feels really nice. This is looking great. Okay, speed looks nice. Altitude looks nice. Now, now you just have your hand on the power and you're adjusting power if you need to to be at the right altitude, but I think we're pretty good. Homer traffic, 2-3 uniform, turning final. Runway 4, Homer. Rolling a little bit more power. A little bit more. 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 Right there. And then let push the nose down just a little bit. And retrim for that. Okay. Mostly ride this all the way down. We're a little slower than usual. But this is going to work just fine. I want you to work on moving those eyes down the runway once you start pulling that power, okay? Okay. Slowly adding that pressure, holding it off. Go ahead. More pressure. Ooh. Nice. That was all you. Sweet. All you. I like touched like this. That's all I did. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> all right, that's a good one to end on. Let's do that. Yeah. So bring her to a stop and we'll flip around. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed that lesson with David. It's cool to see everything start to come together, especially in the pattern, as we were talking about in the debrief. Uh, him having all those little things come together in the pattern are helping him with his landings, and you can kind of see that happening in real time. So that last landing was really good, but I think the biggest win again is what was happening in the pattern and seeing all that come together. So hope you guys are enjoying this journey, seeing him go through his training, kind of flight by flight, I've recorded a lot of flights with students, but I've never really released every flight like this. So it's definitely a, a different storyline than maybe you've seen before. And I uh, hope you're enjoying it. So make sure to like this video. If you like it, comment. If you, um, if you want to have a conversation, of course, subscribe to the video. If you want to stick around and turn on that notification bell. All of these things really help the channel grow. And I really appreciate you guys being a part of the community. So please take those actions. It's a, a thank you for offering you this great content and putting in the time and the work. So hopefully you're doing well. I'll talk to you guys in the comments. And until next time, throttle on.